Greetings, folks. My name is Bob, and I'm the Director of Technology for Electronics. And to your left is the Hydrax 16G2, now featuring the Ryzen 9 9955HX3D. And I want to talk about something a little bit beyond the benchmark while I verbally compare the 9955HX3D with Intel's 275HX. Because if we compare just benchmarks alone, that may favor Intel for many popular benchmarks out there, but the reality of it is, that's not the truth. There's actually some instances where one is substantially better than the other, and this is gonna be great information for you to have. Starting with gaming, this one's really easy. The X3D chip is a better gaming CPU. Out of the box, the minimum frame rate across several titles is just going to be better. Now the Intel will match it for many titles out there, so it's not universal, but if there's ever a discrepancy between the two, the AMD chip is just better. Despite the Intel platform having better memory compatibility with higher frequency available, which helps the Intel platform stretch its legs, something the X3D chip really doesn't need anyway, it's not enough to close the gap. In some instances it is. In other words, if you're gonna prioritize gaming, X3D chip should be the one you would wanna go with. Now, when it comes to professional workloads, if you're going to use this as a workstation or it's going to double as a workstation and a gaming machine, the Intel platform tends to offer just better stability in that professional environment. You got to look beyond just the recommended specs on any given piece of software that you intend to use. Take it from me, I've talked to a thousand people on the phone, tens of thousands of emails. Most of the time, Intel is the right choice for that, but definitely do some homework. For me personally, having 32 threads and a powerful NVIDIA GPU, I like to game. Maybe I'm using DaVinci Resolve to do some video editing work, and that's about the limit for me. X3D chip all the way. But there are so many instances where I could not recommend that over the Intel platform for many individuals out there. Now, when it comes to the uh, efficiency in thermals, Intel actually has the more efficient processor this time. The runtime on battery is going to be almost twice as long, and it's going to be a little bit cooler when both systems are at a similar load. Now, take away the liquid propulsion package, that is, is when you add that to the mix and you do some tuning and some adjustability in that wonderful control center, none of that really matters, but the difference was noticeable within our testing over the last several months. The Intel CPU does tend to run cooler. BIOS options. Wow. AMD has come a long way. We can now undervolt this X3D chip. There's memory tuning in there with frequency adjustability as well as timings. It is really great. It's not for everyone, but this does seem to be at the point where it's going to be Expo ready. So AMD with its Expo profiles, hopefully manufacturers such as Kingston and Crucial and the list goes on, start to make memory modules for laptops with Expo profiles, then you should be able to install something like that in this unit and have excellent plug and play type options, whereas Intel's had that with XMP since long before I've worked here. So look forward to seeing that down the road. Happy to report that so far this laptop does seem to be ready to go for those type of memory modules. However, what I'm not happy to report is current memory compatibility with the X3D chip is poor. We only have a few kits at this time that we would sign off on, and this is why we currently do not have this chassis with this chip available as a bare bones solution. Over time, once we get some more of this ironed out with AMD, we look forward to offering more kit variety on the website as well as a bare bones option. And just overall transparency. You know, as a company, we've strived to be transparent. It does us a lot of good to be transparent because the last thing we want to do is get you in a laptop that's not going to work from you. The name of the game is to sell you something that works and then as harsh as this sounds to maybe never hear from you again because you're happy. And that's just the weird part about this business. Um, so I want to make sure that videos like this can kind of get your attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call or email us because making sure you get into the right platform could really 
mean the difference between liking a laptop and loving it. And that's what we strive is for everybody to just love the products that uh, you purchase because we love the ones that we build. So that's going to do it. Any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Check the description. I will provide the links for these great laptops as well as a bunch of information about memory compatibility that I have found with the X3D chip and I will update that as more information is provided to me. That's going to do it. My name is Bob. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.